Poland Daily Business Edition. Tonight we will talk about the far, far east or India in that sense, uh, because our guest, Professor Zbigniew Krzyzak of Warsaw School of Economics and Institute of Schumann Stuff is also uh, teaching at one of the uh, prominent India's business school. Sir, welcome to the show. Yeah, nice to be here. W what are your uh, reactions when you personally are not only traveling to India, but working there and meeting those people on the business level? Yeah, uh, yeah. first you see very, I mean, the extent areas of uh, poor, poor, I mean, areas, poor people, you know, poor infrastructure, the ways are in incredible stage, you know. Uh, so the railways are, of course, okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, underdeveloped, you know, country, but as well, you know, very fast growing, you know, GDP because of, of course, a high population. Currently, you know, the GDP growth is uh, bigger than the UK and in nominal terms is uh, bigger than United Kingdom, the former, you know, uh, colony, the India was a former colony of uh, of the UK, and uh, India basically is as well as I can perceive is kind of an engine for countries like Poland and the Frisis area. So if you compare the population of Frisis area's population around 130, uh, 130 million people, less than a one tenth of the India's. Yeah, 10 percent India, 1.3 billion, you know, a people. Uh, but this is uh, Frisis. Uh, then, uh, from that perspective, could be a very good partner for India. So India opened currently, you know, six sectors to work to, I mean, uh, expect for the investments and for the ex export from our countries. But, you know, to supply that demand, which is in India, we cannot just be alone like Poland. So the freezes area should currently, I mean, uh, develop a concrete strategy to get some kind of a synergy connecting to the trade uh, with India and investment in the India. What are the areas we can work together and that makes sense from the business point of view? Yeah, they are very, I mean, uh, six uh, major areas which are very much demanded in India. And these areas we can cover as uh, Poland and the Frisis area. The, the first one is uh, food processing, you know. In India, they lose, they waste mu uh, much uh, food, you know, because they don't know how this how to store, how to process to store, right? Next, uh, uh, this is a chemical, you know, industry. Uh, next, the uh, mechanical industry. Uh, so the fourth one would be, you know, the uh, coal mining equipment uh, to explore the resources of the coal up to 90 percent. Currently, the technology India is using they is, uh, allows to explore up to 30 percent, which means they just lose much, you know, coal under the under the earth. And uh, Poland, for instance, in that technology is very good. The next area is um, uh, housing industry. So uh, for, for basically families, this is a, a very, I mean, a poor outlook which you see in India. The people just live in a something which you ne never can call a house, you know. And wh what they need, they need to have a brick house, houses, because not the wooden one, you know, uh, it's, uh, um, I mean, uh, basically acceptable by them. And next is education and as well the air uh, transportation, uh, uh, personal transport by air. So this is a, a major, you know, I mean, a, a challenging and very, I mean, uh, important areas we can, as a freezes area, supply uh, and, and, and cooperate 
with India. That's mainly technologies and expertise to be adopted locally in India. Do we have any services and products that we can actually ship from Poland to India, or that doesn't make any sense right oh, now? Oh yes, it's it's how how I can imagine, and I, as I talk, you know, to to many people in India, then we should start first with, a, I mean, a exporting a technology, exporting a goods, for instance, start to export. I mean, thinking about the food processing, you know, the Indian people should just uh, attach, you know, how the processed food looks like in their shops, right? So, for instance, they like a chicken, right, for instance, but they never seen, you know, a sausage made uh, uh, from chicken, for, right? So uh, we sh uh, the, the first, you know, uh, to export, you know, a food, to export technology, right? And build on that, you know, different industries, this different factories, because, you know, for a long time, you know, there is not sense, and this uh, it would be more expensive to to export uh, instead of pro producing uh, on spot there. The transportation costs yeah. are extremely high and the local production of uh, industrial chicken farms is uh, has its also environmental cost but also brings up the the whole delivery chain because you need to feed those chicken you need that's to have right. the fields that's and so right on. and then you have to do something that's with the right remains so the whole new business and whole new fragment of the rural economy which is very important yeah and even you know the i mean a rising a chicken you know feeding you know the farms if you as you see you know in the chicken farms you know they are not uh, i mean basically well established this is very poor approach to organization and technology, you know, to raise the chicken. And they, they do not uh, have a ducks, you know, for instance. They can eat duck, right? But they don't uh, have these farms. So they, there are many, I mean, uh, opportunities, you know, to develop, uh, I mean, uh, that uh, market in that area. And, you know, the very, I mean, uh, important factor is that, that the India will in long time over the next 20, 50 years, develop with a high speed. And uh, we will definitely uh, look forward to that and make uh, business uh, uh, links with this growing market, sir. Thank you very much for this Thanks conversation. Uh, Professor Zbigniew Krysiakow, Warsaw School of Economics, was our guest tonight.